I think the Lord was good to me. Uh, uh, give me enough sense to get away from here before it hit because it's a good change I'd have lost my life. Thankful that God saved my life. Selma, Alabama, look at that. Fire after destruction, just significant hit because of yesterday's tornado. This drone footage kind of shows it all, right? The absolute wreckage across the area because of these tornadoes. We have tops of homes completely ripped apart, showing everything that is left behind within the homes. At times, kind of hard to even recognize that a home is left over. You can see the damage in the foreground with the tornado still spinning up ahead. You know, some structures are fully destroyed while others are still standing next door, a typical thing that we do see during tornado damage. Uh, this is the kind of thing that really just takes your heart away. All of these images captured by Fox 5 in Atlanta. And you can see cinder blocks, they're thrown miles away at some points. I mean, you, it's hard to even identify from what building those cinder blocks would be from. And you can just imagine the weight of that being able to be thrown and tossed into the air. You know, some structures are damaged worse than others. Take a look at the Hobby Lobby store in Griffin, Georgia. The middle of that structure, not even there. All you see is beams that are bent and torn and twisted, all hanging down in the middle of the store. You know, yesterday was extremely active. Tornado warnings started around 8 o'clock in the morning. They lasted through 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. It's almost 10 straight hours of tornado warnings. <laughs> Looking at the confirmations, uh, we had 68 tornado warnings go out, but three tornado emergencies. That is a very rare warning that is sent out by the National Weather Service Office. They only give it a tornado emergency when they have a confirmation of a deadly and dangerous tornado on the ground where they are expecting loss of life and loss of property. As we take a look at the entire area, it stretches from Mississippi all the way through the Carolinas. We actually had a lot of damage reports stretching all the way far north into Kentucky and even southern portions of Ohio. Look at these tornado reports. I mean, a lot that happened within the morning hours when we were with you yesterday on Fox Weather First happened in Kentucky. And then throughout the afternoon, a lot of that focus from Alabama all the way into Georgia. Look at that stretch. 146 miles from Alabama into Georgia. Uh, some of the reports here. Major structural damage in Oak Village area. The trees are down. We also have, you know, uh, Country Road 42 completely covered in debris. Also, social media reports of damage to trees and structures in Moundville. So this is just unfortunately more common and more common as we're looking across these tornado reports from Alabama all the way into Georgia. Uh, zooming in into <coughs> Ashridge, uh, we did have a lot of damage being reported next to Country Road 3187. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.